Hello, welcome back to my craft table. Um, we are going to work on, I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to make hexagons. These are the hexagons I use to make my hexagon blankets, um, the mosaic blankets you've seen in my TikTok. Um, we're just going to do a quick tutorial. This is what they look like. I only do two rows, but you can keep adding on to make these bigger if you need to. But for my blanket, I only did one row, two rows. So start with your slip knot. This is a worsted weight yarn, by the way. I'm using a four and a half mil hook. These are the quilted bear hooks. They're in my Amazon store. You can find that link in my TikTok or my Instagram. Okay. And I love this yarn is the, I forget what color this is. This isn't the sleeve for this yarn. <laughs> I have long lost it. Um, okay, let's get started. First, you're gonna start with a uh, either a magic circle or I do a chain four circle. One, two, three, four. Slip stitch back into that first chain like so. Now you're gonna chain up four. One, two, three, four. If you've watched my granny square video, then you'll know that this is going to be the last post of the last cluster. Um, so just don't think of it as anything yet. We're gonna do a total of six clusters of two double crochets. So we're doing this in a double crochet with uh, two, two clusters each, or two double crochets each cluster, sorry. So one double crochet, again, one double crochet. All right, so that's our first cluster. So now we're gonna chain two for our corner. This is gonna have six corners because it's a hexagon, so six sides. So chain two and then two more double crochets for another cluster. Okay, two chains for the next corner, two more double crochets. All right, two more chains for the next corner. Kind of scoot these around as you go. You're gonna need to squeeze in a few. I'm gonna bring this tail around and start tucking it in. Two more double crochets. Let's count and see where we're at now. We have done one, two, three, four. So we need to do one more cluster. Let's scoot these around some more. So two chains, two more double crochets. One, two. So we're on our fifth cluster. The last one, <clears throat> this is the last post of our last crochet. Oh, I'm sorry. The last post of our last cluster, sorry. Two chains for our next corner, and then we're gonna do one more double crochet. And then this, we're gonna join here. So these two chains of this four chain is gonna act as our second double crochet. And so we're gonna join at this third chain with a slip stitch, and that makes our center of our hexagon. So now we have six sided. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the sixth one here. All right, now we're gonna go up a row. So we're just gonna chain two this time. One, two. This is going to be on this join. It's going, we are pretty much joining right here. This is the join. So we're gonna immediately work into a corner so you do one double crochet, two chains for a corner, go in with another double crochet. All right, now on the sides of our hexagon, this is gonna be different than the granny square, okay? On our sides of our hexagon, we're gonna add two more because we gotta get all the way to the side. So you're gonna double crochet into these two stitches here, all right? So one double crochet into the first stitch and one double crochet into the second stitch. 
all right now we're going to make our next corner so we're going to double crochet into the corner chain two for the new corner double crochet one more time into the corner and that's going to make your next corner now you're going to do your sides you're going to do crocheting into here crocheting into there there you go next corner crochet into the corner with a double crochet all right next side one stitch and one stitch double crochets right into both loops and then you're going to make your next corner into this one so one double crochet two chains one more double crochet okay double crochet here double crochet there one more corner go in with a double crochet two chains double crochet another side we're going to go into both loops here with a double crochet okay here's our last corner two chains double crochet now we've got one more stitch to make because this is technically the double crochet in the second stitch so our last stitch is going to be into this side here and then we're going to count up two stitches and we're going to join right in the middle of that side all right and then you're going i'm going to leave a long tail because i sew these on with their tails so i'm going to leave a long tail pull my yarn all the way through and then I like to just feed it back through this next one so that the tail comes out the back now I leave this I don't weave it in because I sew my hexagons together with their own tails with it using a whip stitch um, they essentially get sewn on when I make my rows for my blankets I just sew end to end and I'll just keep adding on until I have the length of the row that I want and then I join my rows I'll add a hexagon here and here and here and I just keep adding on anyway that's how you make the hexagon um, super simple and easy you can keep going many rows you just keep chaining up and you repeat the way you repeat that second row um, so if you're adding another row or more rows um, the only difference is that on this side now you'd be going in four uh, into each four of these stitches and then the next one you'd have six stitches each time you're going to be doubling your side stitches so when you go into your next row you're going to go in here 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 and here and then again do your corners one double crochet two chains and another double crochet for each corner you can make these as big as you want just remember each time you go up you're going to be doubling the number of your rows or adding two i'm sorry not doubling you're going to be adding two so your next row will be six double crochets to a side and then eight and ten so so on and forth um and every time you go across the side you're going to go into each stitch uh with a double crochet all right well thanks for joining i hope you guys um Hope that was easy enough for you. Please go follow my Instagram and my uh, TikTok. I do a lot of live TikTok tutorials, so please make sure you follow there so you don't miss one. I'm always happy to answer questions or work through something with you if you're struggling or having a hard time with it. Um, and I also like to um, be given tips as well. So, um, and I mean like tips as in <laughs> show me something on uh, how you crochet. Um, you can always tag me in your videos too. I love to see your projects and your works. Um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.